we were anchored right next to Alders Cay in the Barry Islands. Even though it was written that there was surge in this anchorage, we slept like rocks. The small swell from the Providence Channel didn't affect us much, so with calm conditions, we decided to spend the day here before sailing further north. Plus, Cory really wanted to go spear fishing. Let's go! As we were making our way to the cut by dinghy, we spotted a little cave in between the rocky shoreline. We had to do a little pit stop so that I could check it out. That is so cool! We found a little cave! I like goats to the other side of the ocean. We picked out the crab, he's running away. I've been working on my calluses. This is so cool! I was not expecting a cave that goes through Alders Cave. So now we're looking at Providence Channel. This looks kind of messy. We're right next to the Alder Bomb Key and we haven't really seen that many corals so I don't know what it's gonna be like. We'll jump in and see I guess. We stay close to the shore to not fight as much current. And luckily, around the corner, it was much more enjoyable. Every island or reef we dive in the Bahamas has its own sea life. In the Abacos, we were spotting so many hogfish. But here in Alders Cay, it seemed like it was triggerfish everywhere. And since we had never speared one before, we decided to give it a try. Easier said than done. These fish were pretty fast, and it took a while before I got one. We didn't want to swim all the way back along the crashing waves, so instead we spotted a nearby cut to go through. It worked out well, but we had to time the waves. Wow, the current is pretty strong. Swimming back over with a triggerfish was quite intense. 
along the rocks it was fine but then as soon as we tried to go through the cut the caravan just wanted to push us back out at sea so we had to like ferry and just angle ourselves and swim when we we could but we made it back no sharks and we're gonna have a good supper i think since spearfishing was a bit of a challenge on the providence channel side with having to fight the current we found a new spot on the inside more protected with a few coral reefs It was my turn to spear a fish, so I poked my head under so many rocks to find a good sized Coolmaster snapper. It takes a lot of patience, and at 22 weeks pregnant, I was floating more with less breath. Wearing a dive weight belt wasn't enjoyable on my belly anymore. Sweetie, good job. Wait a minute. Oh, we got a bucket of fish. <laughs> I got two schoolmasters today. I'm so excited. And oh, like, <laughs> I think that's the biggest fish I've ever caught. Okay, it's pretty small compared to Corey's giant fish. Oh, he's an awesome sized schoolmaster. I'm excited. And Alex shot him. Um, Right here, and he was bleeding. We could see that it was bleeding under underneath. Uh, ooh, he's gonna bite you! He's I gonna don't... bite you! <laughs> um, he was bleeding under the rock, and yeah. he was being uh, such a pain to get at. Oh, we kept trying. Like Corey even went to get the light, but then it's like as if all the other fish were protecting him because it shined the light and tried to see him, and all the other fish would just like go straight in front of him. But eventually, Corey found him again and shot him. So, that's good. We returned to the sailboat to clean up and fillet the catch of the day. Then after changing out of our wetsuits, we decided to explore Alders Cay by dinghy. After looping around, we came back to the beach right across from our sailboat. Time to go stretch our legs.
Oh, thanks for the coconuts. No problem. Whew. The trees that are slightly slanted are way easier. As I was flying the drone, I spotted a sea turtle and a shark swimming around our sailboat. With a closer look, I realized that it was injured, so we decided to dinghy over. Maybe we should paddle instead of the water. Oh yeah, he's missing one. He doesn't have his right one. Poor guy. Oh, he's missing both of them. He's missing both his front flippers. I don't know if he got flipper rot or what the deal is, but... So many sea turtles get injured by propellers. Not sure exactly what happened to this one, but it looked like it had a bad case of fin rot. But surprisingly, she still seemed to be able to swim around pretty well, and even dive. They're almost fizzy. Really good though. <laughs> but what a day. I've been loving Yalder ski like we started the day with that cool cave and then snorkeling and spearing those fish and I speared the biggest today so that's it's pretty pretty exciting for myself anyways and then we even went on like a dinghy adventure explored the beach swam saw a turtle like it's just been that's like heaven on earth here it's perfect it's like postcard perfect pictures really so Cheers to life in Alder Ski. We woke up to really dark skies and rain. This is May weather for you. But shortly after, the sun treated us to a rainbow. Well, we are going out of the Alderbond cut. We are hanging out at Alder's K. It was a really fun time yesterday and the night before. It should be a pretty short sail over to Hoffman's K. Normally this cut, at least on the um, Explorer charts, it says that it can be really gnarly during an ebb versus wind waves, you know, meeting. And it can get, like, if it's only maybe two feet out there, it might be up to 10 feet in here. But I mean, it's been really calm, but we really haven't seen anything that extreme. So I, I feel like it's a little exaggerated, as with a lot of the claims on some of these Explorer charts, whether it's depth or just rough conditions. Often uh, we see surge as a warning at, a, at an anchorage, and that tends to keep most of the people away, which is kind of good for us, because then we get the anchorage to ourselves. There's been a few times where surge has been really bad, but in general, the surge is not nearly as bad as what we expect when you see a warning about surge. So yeah, it's been really nice having anchorages to ourselves and people seem to pick the, the other anchorages instead. So that's good.
Well, I take it back. I think it could probably get pretty gnarly in here with any decent sized waves because we're bashing into, um, I don't know, maybe three foot waves at, at the most when th the chop inside and I assume outside is less than a foot. So two to three times as big as what you'd, you'd expect anywhere else. So yeah, I could definitely see if you know there was three foot swell out there, this could get pretty big. It didn't look that big when we were diving over there, but we were a little more protected from the rocks and you can't really tell from a distance how big it is over here. But I mean, it's still very comfortable, but you definitely would not want to come in here during uh, you know three foot swell on the outside. Today, I think it's only calling for one foot, which you know the forecast is always wrong, but still, it's roughly a foot, maybe two feet. Uh, definitely an entrance you want to watch out for. So I take it back. getting sporty in here I'm going a little slow too because the tide is coming against us not too bad though as we approached Hoffman's Key I knew it was going to be a great area to explore there were so many islands all close by that we could easily dingy to even with our small 3.3 horsepower outboard I'm really excited to be out of uh, sailing over there. Today is not my day. Just my insides and having fun. But this looks like go. Oh, this is exciting. I'm gonna do one more drive and go yeah. over there where it's supposed to be surgery, but I don't think the waves are big enough to make any decent surge. I'm ready. You're ready. Ready. And I just gotta check. Another ready. Job. ready. Let's do this. Jump ho! Beautiful. Professional. Almost where we want to be. All right, you want to pull in the headsail? Grab it. Our depth is eight feet. Yeah, go for it. All right, how much scope we have? I've got seventy feet. Oh yeah, we grabbed pulling us right there. Beautiful. Maybe we'll dive on the anchor. Yeah, yeah, you might have to help me with this number though. There's a bit of current. Okay. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh yeah, there he is. He was biting my nipples. And then a shirt came. <laughs> oh. Wait, I've got 70 and we're in what, nine feet? We anchored right next to White Cay, but there were so many other caves and islands around. Foul Cay, Devil's Cay, where we would go for a walk around the cliffs, and Hoffman's Cay, which has a nice blue hole, and we we're super excited to go jump in. <laughs> 